What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is unfortunately not the type of video that I want to make, but I know it will help you out a lot because of the situation I happen to find myself in. I was just working in a central model and then boom, it's corrupt. You know, that's gonna happen a lot. I, I have a previous video out that is how to recover a corrupt Revit file and basically fix that problem to where you have a working central model again and you're on your way. Now, now I went about that same process this time around, of course, but I realized that I received a different prompt from Revit and I realized that there's a new tool. Now, at least to me, it's new. I have 2020 Revit, I'm working in Revit 2020.2 and I just noticed this tool in this prompt that told me to use the tool. And I discovered that because I was unable to save to from a local file that I was previously using. So anyways, let's get into the video because we're going to try and save my central file at this point. So before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, and especially if it does help you and you happen to repair your central model, then please demolish that like button. It really helps. Also consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing. That really helps me out a lot too. Okay, let's jump into it. I've got this rabbit file. I, this is actually my local file and I'm going to take this local file and I'm just going to open it up because what I want to do is use my local file that I was able to save locally to after the file was corrupt, which I couldn't sync to that central model. So I had to use that local file, save that locally. Now I'm going to reopen this file and try and sync this back to the central and, and therefore make a new central model and just be fresh, new, and not actually lose any of my work. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to open this file and we're going to see what happens. So I've got the model open and this is what I get. I get this central model is corrupt. And you know we're, we're familiar with seeing stuff like this, but it says you cannot synchronize to central until the model is repaired. Okay, that makes sense. And then it says, use the repair central model command to repair the central model. And then it's got your file name. I've never seen this before. Um, I don't know if it's new and maybe I'm insane. So please let me know in the comments if I am insane. And in fact, this has always existed, but we're going to go through the process of using the repair central model tool and see what happens. And hopefully we're left with a repaired central model. So I'm going to hit close because there's really nothing else I can do here. We're going to go to the collaborate tab and I'm going to go under manage models here. And you can see there in fact is repair central model. That's it. And it says use this tool to, if Revit notifies you that the central model is corrupt, it's like, well, okay. So I'm going to click on this. It says Revit will use the active model to repair the central model. Okay. And then it's got the location of all this. Um, do note that it says changes to the central model, your file and other local models will be lost. Do you want to continue? So basically, I'm okay with this because I'm working in the latest local file of mine and I was the only one working in it. So the idea here is like, you know, you're going to lose everything up unless, except the file that you're working in at that point. So let's imagine you have three people working in your project and all of a sudden, oh, it, you're getting this notification and that Revit needs to repair the central model. What do you do? Well, Typically, and this is why I'm a big fan of the work sharing monitor, you can see who's in the model, who has synced last, and whether they were successful or not, and, and that's great. So the idea is, let's say you have one person who has synced, they're, they're good to go. You have another person who is working in their model, and then you've got a third person who is about to sync and hasn't synced yet, but they're the one who get the need to repair the Revit model, the central model, and all that. So you, then you go back to the work sharing model and realize, okay, well, the third person has already synced. They're good. And then the second person has worked some, but they haven't synced. And then the first person figured out the problem, which means they obviously haven't synced. So you're, you're dealing with a situation where you have multiple people who haven't synced yet. So then the unfortunate part about that is that someone is going to lose work. And so the idea is you can use the work share monitor to, to look and see which one of those two has synced the latest, or you can start to merge some of those together. If you open the local files and put pieces together, you can do that. But I would just say, if you haven't lost a substantial amount of work, which I hope you wouldn't, you're basically going to choose which person's local file to create the new central model from. And you would do the exact same thing 
when you were when we did the previous workflow for working with repairing central models, we actually had to go and choose the correct person or, you know, ideally ideal person. So they would lose the least amount of work. So like everyone would lose the least amount of work, choose that local file and then create the central model from that. So we're doing the exact same thing here. It's just, it's just that Revit is doing that for you and like creating the central model for you after you've chosen and opened that local file, which you want to recover from. So in this case, I have done that. I'm again, I'm the only one working in this model at this time. So it's just me and I've opened my local file and we're going to make the new central model from that. And this is, this is Revit saying, I'm going to lose everything else. It's fine because I'm working in this. It's, it is what it is. So I'll hit okay. And ideally what it's doing now is just saving that local file as a new central model in the location that it was already. And so I should be good to go after this. Uh, we'll find out in just a second, and I sure hope that I am because this is my first time doing this. And there we go. The model has been repaired. That's it. Like, that's all it is. I'll hit close at this point, and I should be good to go. And if I go to sync, you know, there's my location. That That's that's it. I mean, that. so really, I, what did this do? <laughs> all this did in my mind was take our local file that we had opened, and then it basically did a file save as over the same central for us, which is nice, I guess, but I, that's, it is what it is. It's very simple. So it's, it's nice that it was able to do that. Obviously my model's repaired. And so at this point I'll close this model and then reopen from the central and create a new local file. That's, that's it. I'll be good. And so I actually did have to look up while it was repairing the model. If this, was a new tool or not. And in fact, it's not, I'm insane. I looked in 2018, it was in 2018. And so it's possible that a lot of the errors I had seen previously with central models is just for some reason, unable to access the central model or just save or like sync to the central. And so I was regularly thinking that, you know, it was a corrupt model. It's very possible that those instances weren't always corrupt models. I don't know. But it, nonetheless, clearly we had a corrupt model here because Revit told us. I've just never seen that particular prompt that says, hey, you know, you have a corrupt model. But I don't know. I've, I've always been able to use, you know, just opening the local file, saving that as the central and moving on with my life. But I guess if you have a corrupt model, you can do something like this. It's really simple. There's not a whole lot to it. <laughs> just to find the file that you want, which local file you want to use, and then you know, press two buttons and Revit will do the rest for you, you know, open it up again and you're good to go. So that'll do it for this video. Maybe this is not news to anyone. You know, <laughs> it was news to me because I didn't realize it was there. Um, again, maybe I've just been so lucky. I've never had a truly corrupt model. I've just had other issues with central models, but let me know in the comment section. If you knew this, if you knew about the tool, if it, you knew it was there because I sure didn't. So hopefully you did learn something. And if you did, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing. I really appreciate all that. You know, if you stuck around this long in the video, you're awesome. And I hope I was able to help you out. So I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.